Now I would like to talk about the dodge and burn tool. The dodge and burn tool is one of the most powerful tools in our arsenal uh, when we are doing retouching. Actually, uh, the premise of dodge and burn, which you can reach right here, dodge is this uh, tool right here and the burn is the one right underneath it. And basically uh, th their function is very simple but their uses are very broad and uh, there's, uh, there's endless creative uses to dodge and burn. For instance to show this, if I um, may fill this layer with a neutral gray color and get my dodge tool, I will set its range to midtones just to demonstrate for you. What dodge tool does is it just brightens up wherever it touches. This is it. This is all it does. And the uh, burn tool does the exact opposite. It makes things darker. But this simple two, two, this two simple tools, when used appropriately, can be one of the uh, most powerful tools when you're doing retouching. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Let's just make a rectangular box. And I'm going to fill this with my paint bucket tool. I will fill this with this gray color that we just used. Actually, uh, let me make it into a new layer. There we go. Okay, uh, now we just have this rectangle. I'm going to deform it uh, using the warp transformation. And with the warp transformation, I'm going to uh, kind of give it some curves as though the uh, as though it's like a piece of fabric or something that's just bending. Just like that. Okay, R roughly this looks good, but uh, as you can see, this looks completely flat. And uh, the strength of dodge and burn comes from the fact that everything we see have have shadows. Everything in the world is uh, when it's lit, it casts different amount of shadows. And uh, if you can control in your photographs the precision of the highlights and the shadows, then you can uh, you have full control of uh, the entire uh, ov overall look of the image. So, for instance, in the just on this bl uh, blank, uh, just on this blank gray uh, box that we distorted, I will get the burn tool with its range set to midtones. And let me talk about this range setting uh, just a. Uh, quick second. It has three settings and the dodge tool have the exact same settings. The shadows, midtones and highlights. And what this means is that if you have the shadow selected, the, the tool will affect the darker areas more than the lighter areas. If you have the midtone selected, you will be able to affect the overall uh, pretty much equally in the entire spectrum and dark and light. Dark and light. And if you select the highlights, you will be mostly leaving the uh, dark areas unaffected. So this is a great way of uh, uh, limiting the effect, the area of effect of this uh, burn tool. And also, like I said, the same settings is true for the dodge tool as well. And right uh, next to it is the exposure. Exposure is pretty much its strength. And uh, next to it is the protect tones. This is present in CS4, but uh, it is not uh, in the uh, earlier, ver some of the earlier versions of Photoshop. What this does is again, it limits the effect uh, so that the colors don't uh, start to distort and, uh, uh, and uh, deteriorate. Okay, well, now that we have our burn tool selected, you can uh, pick any kind of brush to use as uh, your burn tool. I will just select the soft edge brush, the relatively you know, a medium sized brush, and I will just start applying it in the areas that the shadows should be present. 
you see immediately we are able to give it give this uh, flat shape some depth and the more you work on it and you can introduce some uneven spots as though it is like a sheet of metal and adjust your exposure and as you see you're effectively creating shadows and if we go back to our dodge tool and just like I said it again has the same selections I will select the midtones and reduce its exposure and I am able to create some highlights or at least enhance them just like that and going back between burn and dodge I can customize this shadow and highlight structure to the exact effect and specification that I like now what I've done now is I have changed the overall shape I have given it depth uh, so it went from being completely flat, uh, uniformly colored um, symbol or, or a shape to, uh, and so to it having some uh, curves and bends that is coming in and out of the uh, screen, as you can see. So uh, this is pr precisely why the Dodge and burn uh, is very important because you use it mostly to affect the uh, highlights and the shadows of your images and you can customize them you can uh, create uh, you know artificial highlights and shadows and um, and this is just a great uh, great tool uh, you should practice with it and uh, just get better at using the dodge and burn and uh, before uh, I end this talk about the dodge and burn tool let me just show you what I mean by range, uh, how this range um, influences the effect of the brush. So if I go back to my dodge tool with the midtone selected, and let me ex increase my exposure so we get a drastic uh, effect so that we can better see. Let's make it 100%. You see, I am able to affect pretty much the entire spectrum of light and dark. But if I go ahead and select highlights, and if I do the same stroke, you can see that its effect is getting dimmer as it goes into the darker areas. And if I change it to shadows, now it affects the shadow areas much more. And this way you can actually uh, uh, limit its uh, limit the uh, range of dark and light that this uh, tool affects and I uh, hope, uh, hope you learned some uh, from this tutorial and um, make sure to use dodge and burn and practice with it